Welcome to Life in HD, the personal development and lifestyle blog that shines a spotlight on how we live our lives. I'm Joe Lee. Hey guys, welcome to the first video companion piece for the Life in HD blog and podcast. You might remember a few episodes ago, I did a show called Can Money Buy You Happiness? And I interviewed an author named Wes Moss. One of the things that he found out among his research for uh, the happiest retirees was that they had three to four core pursuits. These are things that bring you great joy in life, things that you have to do. For some, it could be golf. For others, it could be baking. It could be mountain climbing, whatever it is for you. For me, and I want to share this with you, it's collecting, drinking, exploring, tasting wine. So I want to show you a little wine cellar that I put together in my basement that brings me great joy and show you a little bit of my collection of wine and whiskey. Come on. So welcome to my wine room. This is my space. This is my man cave, if you will. Uh, we built this about five years ago. It was for my 50th birthday. Over here, we have the cabinetry that was put in. So this was done by a company called California Closets. I wanted to make sure that I was able to get my uh, collection wine shelf uh, where the wines are laying flat on display with some lighting. I uh, also wanted to have some shelves up above uh, to make sure that uh, we could have some uh, good storage for some of the better wines up there. Uh, and down here is where I keep all of the everyday drinking wines. Now, a few years ago, maybe a couple of years ago, um, what started to happen is my wine collection started to dwindle as I was drinking it and not replacing it. I began to collect a lot of whiskeys. So right here is where we have uh, some scotch and some bourbon. Uh, and then over here is where I keep uh, a lot more scotch and bourbon. So as I began to collect the whiskey, the wine stock began to go down. So now where I am is I need to fill the wine stock back up. And then over here, we have more wine on the wall. Uh, but I also have my turntable for playing music. So I keep all my vinyl down here. I'm able to sit down. I can uh, entertain about four people, five if I add this chair, uh, and then play some music, drink some wine, drink some whiskey, chat, talk shit, whatever we want to do. This is the space for it. I have a number of bottles from Italy and California, like this 2012 to 2016 vertical of Paul Cabernet Sauvignon. Many of these wines I intend to hold for at least 10 years. Some will be ready to drink in about two. So one of the reasons I decided to build the wine room in my basement is because it's below grade and naturally cool down here. But the way that I have the vents set and the temperature setting uh, throughout the house, Right now, it's about 59 degrees in here, so it's perfect for storing wine, not perfect for anything else. So here are some tips for how to store and keep your wine. Make sure your wine storage area doesn't get above 70 degrees or the wine will age more quickly. You'll want to store the wine between 45 and 65 degrees. Currently, my room is at about 59 degrees. You'll want to avoid temperature swings. You don't want the wine to cool down and heat up and cool down and heat up. That will affect the complexity and the taste of your wine. Keep it in a dark and cool place and avoid direct sunlight. And monitor the humidity so the corks don't dry out and allow air to enter the bottle. So thanks for hanging out in my wine and whiskey room and learning about one of my core pursuits. I hope to share more of those with you in the days to come. Until next time, cheers.